Cancer, it's your turn. Let's dive in. It's funny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to sound clear the area and write down what I was going to call Gemini's reading and um, make space to figure out what I'm going to call your reading. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to Gemini's guides. We're going to welcome now um, Cancer's guides and spirit team and angelic team and ancestors. Okay, all of the Cancers that watch me, we're going to go ahead and welcome all their guides here. I've already got Archangel Michael here. I've already created a protective bubble around us. And all of my guides are here as always. <laughs> all right, let's dive right in, Cancer. I'm going to go ahead and start with <clears throat> the standard tarot deck that I have. It's a really small deck. All right, what do we need to know for Cancer for the month of January? So this is going to be a regular general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but it's going to resonate with someone. And if you're here, there's definitely a message in here for you. Excuse me. Do not doubt it. I can't stop burping. Um, it's not going to be a love reading. It's just going to be a regular general reading, not a love reading. Um, however, if love does come out, you know, we'll definitely take it. And this is a timeless read. So whenever you find it, it's for you. Though I will try to be focused on the energy of January. So just so you know, whenever you find the reading, it's for you. Do not doubt it. There are no accidents. This is my favorite thing to say because it's true. There are no accidents, Cancer. Oh my <laughs> So if you find it, it's for you, babes. All right. Let's, let's dive in. What do we have for Cancer? Whoa, that flew out. The world. Okay. <laughs> That's a really great start. It flew out and it wasn't a reverse, but I don't read reversals, so we're not going to take it as a reverse unless, you know, something says otherwise. Wow, the moon. So it's Cancerian energy, although the chariot is Cancer, but, you know, the moon, I always say, is Cancer. So the world is about completing a huge cycle, Cancer. Oh, wow. That's so it's incredible. Is that Eight of Pentacles? Is that Nine of Pentacles? No. It's eight. Okay, so we have the world, we have the moon, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So take heart, my beautiful Cancers. Um, you have closed out a huge cycle. Congratulations. That's definitely not easy. So a karmic cycle for you is ending, okay? Um, there may be some still some blind spots. The moon shows me that there's something still in your subconscious that you might be pressing down on and not fully facing. I don't know what that is. It's going to be different for all of you. You know, none of you are on the same timeline. Although, you know, a chunk of you are. That's why you're here, right? Um, you've been working really, really hard, though, at completing this karmic cycle, and it's done. So now things are going to start moving faster for you. Things are going to start closing out. Those karmic cycles, those loose ends, they're all done. The unfin unfinished business, done, okay? <laughs> um, all the loose ends are, are, are going to be tied up, and the world is about receiving those blessings and, and the things that you needed, sorry, my chair is squeaky. The things that you needed to learn, right, um, during those karmic lessons. Now you have, you have all of that wisdom in your belt. But now you also, you know, you have all that wisdom under your belt or under your skirt. And now you also have the blessings that are going to come with closing out that karmic cycle. You should be super proud of yourself. Queen of Cups. So I see that you've been working really hard as well, too. Why do we have the moon here? The 
Queen of Swords. Okay, so again, we have the moon, which it represents subconscious emotions, right? Things, shadows that we might not be facing. And when I asked why we had the moon, it showed up the Queen of Swords. So there's something, there's some kind of truth that you're not facing, Cancer. I don't know what that is, okay? And like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. You know, the owl represents wisdom, but... Spirit is trying to say you're far too wise to be, you know, pushing them shadows down. You need to face whatever it is that um, this Queen of Swords energy, right? This you need you need some kind of clarity. The Queen of Swords is about clarity. Um, the Queen of Swords is is also this energy of like being too cold and too logical. So you have to ask yourself, Cancer, what is it that you're being too cold and logical about? What shadow are you not facing and do you need clarity for? Okay. Now, we have the Eight of Pentacles and then right after that came out with the Queen of Cups. So I'm not actually quite sure what this means, but um, the Queen of Cups energy is like this very soft motherly um energy right so you could be embodying this energy of like you know um caring nurturing compassionate mother type energy um the queen of cups is very much a cancerian energy it's about you know being very um sort of in the water like emotion wise right being open with your emotions and cancers very often are if they feel safe too. Now, I'm not saying that every cancer is open with their emotions. Some of them are very much the crab, which is a sign of the cancer, right? They like to hide their emotions behind the really tough shell of the crab. So, you know, but I don't see that with, with you. Like there's the queen of cups. So this either... Someone in your vicinity is embodying that energy, that very soft, feminine, motherly type energy, or this is you being open and in your feelings, right? You know, it, it could be, it came out with the Eight of Pentacles, so you could be working really hard at learning to be open and opening these emotions this could be like a new door for you cancer right maybe you're not used to being open with your emotions maybe being the queen of cups is is like is new for you or maybe you have someone that was embodying the queen of cups in your energy and and you know all of that energy is new to you right I don't know. Is that six of pentacles? Yes. Oh, where did the card go? Hold on, hold on, Cancer. I'm dropping cards here. Wow. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that cancer. <laughs> One of my kids, um, I heard a lot of banging. I thought they fell. <clears throat> All right, so I understand. I'm beginning to understand why the Queen of Cups came out. We have the Six of Pentacles, and then we have the Two of Cups. All right, so there's two different storylines. We're going to do this two different ways. Sorry about the background noise. You guys, try not to talk. I'm doing a reading, okay? You're right there by the bathroom, and so, you know, I can hear you. The bathroom is right next to this room where I'm reading. And so it's if <laughs> they're in the bathroom and they're talking, then you're going to be able to hear it really well. Okay, so this is one of two storylines and take it how it resonates with you. Now, this could be you and your Queen of Cups energy. And um, because you're in that Queen of Cups energy, you're going to meet someone who matches your energy. The Six of Pentacles is about... You know, finding someone that matches your energy because it came out with the two of cups. This shows me that this is a very spiritual connection, right? Um, it's a deep spiritual connection. It could be 
a twin flame connection. Um, we don't know for sure, but we do know that the two of cups is a really, really deep spiritual connection. It's not a normal type of love. Like if it was the lovers, we would say, okay, you know, it's, it's just a random lover. It could be a soulmate. The two of cups is a deep spiritual connection. So this is someone you've had many lifetimes with, right? Somehow you are connected on a spiritual level with this person. Okay. You probably have had past lives with this person. Okay. But this six of pentacles shows me that the give and take energy is even. Okay. So whether you're in this queen of cups energy and you, you are the one being represented by the queen of cups and because you're open, the universe is going to bring this partner in, right? Or you already have someone that you are aware of that is in your life right now that is in the Queen of Cups energy, okay? And you know this person matches your energy. And so therefore, you know, you are recognizing this person as, you know, the spiritual connection, right? The spirit, you're recognizing the spiritual connection for what it is. Okay, so take it how it resonates. If you're a divine feminine, I would say, you know, you're probably being represented by the Queen of Cups. Now, if you're a masculine watching this, I would say you probably already have a female energy, um, a divine feminine Queen of Cups energy in your, in your field. And that's what this is about. So, all right. What else do we need to know for Cancer? We're going to pull two more cards from this deck and then we're going to go on to the Sacred Bee. Two of Swords. So this is about making a decision. This is about being at a crossroads. Um, if you had any question about this person and this connection, um, the Two of Swords represents great affection. So this shows me that both of you have really great affection for each other. Okay, the feelings are mutual. The Two of Swords is also though about making a decision, being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision about something. Knights of Pentacles. So um, you may have been, you may have had to been really patient with this energy here. You know, I know like when it comes to love, like people want to really dive in. But the Knight of Pentacles shows me that for some reason or another, you've had to be, you've had to take it really slow with this love energy. And the Two of Swords, the way that, the two of swords is being portrayed with the wolf i feel like you know you're at this crossroads cancer where it's like do i want to be the lone wolf or do i want to like not be the lone wolf like am i ready to let someone in right now if this is you divine feminine and you're in the queen of cups energy then we'll flip it so if this reading is for a feminine, I would say your person is at this crossroads and they're trying to decide, hey, you know, am I done being alone? Am I done being the lone wolf or do I just stay the lone wolf? Or, you know, they're in their head about it. They're trying to make a decision, right? So your masculine is trying to make a decision whether or not he should stay the lone wolf or if he should let you in, right? Right. And the Knight of Pentacles shows me that this connection has went very, very slow. <laughs> Someone might be a little bit um, impatient. I don't know. All right. Let's see what else. We're going to pull from the Sacred Bee Tarot. I love how I say, oh, it's not going to be a love reading. It always ends up turning into a love reading for one of the signs. It's, it's so ridiculous. So Cancer... The Knight of Pentacles as well could represent, um, you know, your finances improving slowly. You know, nothing's going to happen overnight, but I do see that they will improve slowly. Okay. As long as you are grateful for the finances that you have now. All right. What else do we have for Cancer? All right, so we have Six of Wands, Victory. Woohoo! You won. <laughs> you win, Cancer. <laughs> Whatever it is, you won. Woohoo! 
What did you win at? Oh, strength. I don't know. You won at being strong. <laughs> Wow, okay. So we have Six of Wands. We have Strength, um, which is the card of Leo. Eight of Swords, Interference. And Four of Disc, Power. All right. Let's go ahead and get one more card. And we're going to try to interpret this energy. Knight of Swords. Okay, so if you were looking for some type of clarity, I see it coming in. Um, it's not going to come in as fast as you want it to, but there is going to be some sort of truth revealed in regards to the connection we were talking about. The Six of Wands is victory. So <laughs> whatever happens, it's going to work out in your favor. You just have to decide what that means to you cancer okay the six of wands is also about fame and fortune so for some of you yes baby you're going to be famous <laughs> baby's famous i just heard baby's famous all right so okay either way this is a victory okay whether that's in the love department whether that's in the career department it's going to be different for all of you, okay? Whatever victory means to you, you've already achieved it, Cancer. So you don't have to doubt yourself. You don't have to, like, worry about it. Your victory has already been guaranteed, whatever it is, okay? So that's going to be different for all of you. We have strength here, which is, like I said, this is the card of Leo, but it represents fire sign energy in general. It represents you being strong enough to overcome all of these things, which might not have led to a victory if you weren't strong enough to get through it. So cancer, kudos, what a beautiful energy to be in. Spirit is saying you have achieved what you set out to achieve okay sorry i just kicked my camera so you have you've shown yourself to be um strong enough to be victorious to overcome all of the obstacles that were thrown in your way and even with this you know when whenever someone threw something in your path like this is the card of interference right it's eight of swords, but it also, you know, represents being lost in your thoughts, excuse me, or, you know, letting your thoughts get in the way. You are strong enough to even overcome your negative thoughts and your limited beliefs. And I'm so proud of you. Okay. I'm going to need to get some more lemon water here in a minute. Um, but we have four of discs, which shows me that you have taken back your personal power cancer and because of that you've created a whole bunch of stability for yourself okay emotional stability um inner peace also most importantly a little bit of financial stability okay for now you can take it easy and relax and there's going to be some kind of truth coming in from someone this is a possible message coming in you know, it, it's not going to come in as fast as like the Ace of Swords, but the Knight of Swords is a steady messenger, right? And look, the Owl to me represents wisdom. So there's going to be some kind of clarity that comes in and it's going to be like an aha moment, like, oh, why didn't I see that before, right? Some kind of hidden wisdom or hidden truth that's going to hit you like a ton of bricks and it's just going to make everything fall into place. All right, let's, let's get a final outcome for Cancer, and then we're going to end with the Moonology card and some charms for you. What other final advice do you have for Cancer? Mm -hmm. The Hierophant. I swear to God, this card always comes out for Cancer, the Hierophant. <laughs> I don't know why. Cancer is the eternal Hierophant. Princess of Cups. Okay, so that's Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, that's a love offer. Another one. <laughs> Princess of Cups. So again, you know, there's this strong energy of like you being a hot commodity. People wanting to offer you love. So the Hierophant is, is being committed to something, right? 
but it came out with the princess of cups so this love offer that's coming in whether it's from the same person the queen of cups or you know whether it's from it's the same energy right okay this could be someone possibly younger than you or maybe even the same age as you right they're coming up as a younger sign. I mean, Page of Cups is, tends to be like a younger childlike energy, right? So you don't necessarily have to be younger than you. They could just have like this really sort of naive childlike way about them. But either way, this is a love offer, Princess of Cups, and it's coming out with the Hierophant. So this isn't a bad, this is... This isn't a bad connection. Not only did we get the Two of Cups, which is a deep spiritual connection, the Hierophant represents commitment. This person is committed to you. If you're thinking about someone in your mind and you're like, is this person committed to me or do they have the ability to commit to me? The answer is yes. The Hierophant is also about, you know, having your values completely flip-flopped. So, for example, if you believe one thing, it's believing completely the opposite. It's almost like the energy of having another spiritual awakening, right? It's like all of the things that you believed being flip-flopped and all of a sudden you're like, I'm not sure if I believe that anymore. For example, like someone that doesn't believe in marriage all of a sudden wanting to get married. Or, you know, someone that believes in marriage all of a sudden, I don't want to get married, right? Right? It's having your belief systems completely flip-flopped. So this person might have completely like flipped your belief systems about love just out the water. Just threw them out the water. <laughs> I don't know. Something about that energy. <clears throat> it's like whatever you used to believe about love, you don't believe it anymore. All right. We're going to grab a Moonology card for you. And then we'll pull a charm and we're going to be done with this reading. All right. So what is the Moonology card that you want for our beautiful water sign cancer? And then I got to go fill my water up because I'm getting thirsty and I still got to read for Leo. All right. What do we have for cancer, please? Mm. What is the Moonology card for cancer? Oh, how fitting. All right, so we have a new moon in Cancer. Relax. <laughs> we do have a new moon coming up. I don't know what it's going to be in. I think it's going to be in Gemini. But anyways, um, Spirit is saying, relax, Cancer. Relax. You're taking things too seriously. You're, you know, you're too tense. Unclench your butt cheeks. Unclench your jaw. Relax. And look, you got two cards that are telling you to relax. No, I went to pull one card and two came out. Look, we have full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. That means relax. Embrace the flow of life. Stop fighting everything. Surrender, okay? <laughs> Stop making things so difficult. Why are you making things so difficult, okay? You're making things too difficult. Allow life to flow. Here's the thing. Resistance means that it's just going to be harder. You know, resistance is futile. It just makes everything way harder for you when you resist change. And look, Gemini is about the twins. So take that how it resonates as well. All right. So if something resonated in this reading, um, Cancer, I almost said Gemini again. Some of you might be dealing with the Gemini. I just, you know, I keep wanting to say Gemini. Oh, it could be because I just read for Gemini, though I'm tired. Please like the video and share with all your Gemini friends. Subscribe if you feel so guided to. It is completely free for you to subscribe for you to like the video, for you to share, my beautiful Cancers. We are going to pick a charm for you. See, I have all of these cute little charms. And I went into meditation and talked to my spirit guides, and I got all of the meanings of what they mean from my spirit guides. And it took a really long time because there was a million in here, but I'm exaggerating. But it was worth it because this is so, so fun. Such a fun way to end my reads. Okay, what do we got for Kansa? Oh, it's a cherry. Ta-da! See? 
It looks like a butt, but it's a cherry. I promise see it's a cherry. See? <laughs> All right, let's look up what it means. I think, I really do think that this is the twin flame charm, but I'm not sure. I'm freaking out, Cancer. Oh my God, it is. Oh, wow. So, this is insane. I'm sorry. I cannot... We had the Gemini, which was the twins. Then we had the two of cups, which represent twin flames. And then we have this. So if you look on here, my writing is so messy. Okay. But all of the, <laughs> you can't read my writing. All of them, the love meanings are in parentheses like this. And then the regular meaning is, is in this. No parentheses. So look. For train, we have travel and then forward movement. I don't know why there's no parentheses there, but this is the love meaning. So the cat would be sensuality is the love meaning. Magic would be the regular meaning. Okay, look at here for cherry. Twin flame. They didn't even give me a regular meaning for that. They only gave me a love meaning. So, oh my God. If you had any doubt, Cancer, the person that's on your mind, if you had any doubt about them being a twin flame, I hope it's dispelled right now. Because I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to put myself out on a limb and go ahead and say, yes, this person is your twin flame. We've had three confirmations. So with that being said, what a beautiful way to end this reading. I'm going on to Leo. Bye, Cancer.